Maestro Gaming presents a Wobbly Wagon Wheel production about a nomad man. That man is the Gypsy King. Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to another Maestro Gaming production. Welcome back to Hanover. And, of course, we have a big game away to wear the Bremen later today. But, first of all, we have to have a nice little look around Hanover. We've not enjoyed the scenery of Hanover. As you can see from behind me, it is absolutely beautiful. The stadium is actually just a short walk that way. So, without further ado, I'm going to head over to there, get into our office, and show you around Hanover. Okay, everyone, so welcome into the office. I will be your geography teacher for today as we have a nice little look around Hanover. I am all prepared. I have my nice Doctor Who mug full of coffee. So without further ado, let's have a little look around Hanover, have a nice little exploration and see where we have ended up. So first of all, we are of course in Hanover. It's built with one end, unlike the team, which is two. Hanover is the capital and largest city of the German state of Lower Saxony. It's roughly half a million inhabitants and is 13th largest city in Germany. So quite a big place. Now, in terms of its geographical location relative to the rest of Germany, as you can see, it's situated below Hamburg, and in fact, we have to head north to Bremen. So, you know what? Before we go to Bremen, let's see how long this trip is going to take us. You know, why not? So, directions from here. We don't want to here. We want from here and directions to here. So, I've got it cut off just a little bit off the screen. You probably can't see it. Nope, I've managed to trim it. So, you don't see any little overlaps. So, to walk it, it would take us a whole 22 hours and 58 minutes. That's if we go the quick way. It could take up to 23 and a half, roughly. So we're probably not going to walk it. It's a day walk, so maybe drive. So it's an hour and a half to two hours drive. Really depends on what route you take. But it is 127 kilometers or 141 if you go the long way around. I unfortunately don't have the miles because it decides to give me it in kilometers. So that is our trip up to Bremen, which we'll be doing for today's game. But we don't really care about that. We want to see what Hanover has to offer. And Hanover, as you can see, it has this lovely facility. So it has the Herren Hansen Gardens. Interesting. I apologize for that voice outside, by the way. That sounded rather obnoxiously loud. Now, which of these many dots should we go for? We'll go for the one that's in. Why not? It is, this is a lovely spot. You know what? We, we might come here for our lunch. Just have a nice little hangout on our lunch in the gardens. I'm not sure how far away from the stadium it is though. That's the problem because it's quite a big place. Our stadium, I'm not sure which region our stadium's in. Maybe satellite might help us out a little bit. So let's just pull up the satellite. Hopefully that helps me spot our stadium because we don't have a small stadium. Is this our st That looks like our stadium. Hanover Fan Shop right next to it. I'm pretty sure that's our stadium. So our stadium is there and the gardens. So we're over in the Hanover Mix area. Maybe Linden, Lima. We're sort of in that sort of region. And the gardens are only up here. So... Let's have a little look from here to the gardens. That is a 15 minute drive or we're going to walk about an hour. So maybe don't want to walk that every day. So maybe that's a special occasion sort of thing. We win a bit of silverware, maybe. I don't know. We might be lucky and win the cup. And yeah, we'll go hang out in the gardens, I guess. So that is that. What do we have a little bit nearer? We have a museum just across the way. So let's have a little look at this museum. We're going to drop, you know, I don't think that's in the museum. I'm pretty sure that's in Bell's Cafe. Actually, no, it looks museum -y. Are we in the museum? Yes, we're in the museum. Ah, I like this staircase. It's a nice staircase. Unfortunately, I cannot read any German, but I do get at least temporary art is in there. We've got some temporary art. Can we see it? I'm pretty sure that's a person and not a piece of artwork. 
but these ones are a bunch of artwork. So that is the art gallery across the way, which is interesting. We can't really have a look at the Cutting Edge Contemporary Art Museum though, because that's about the only thing we can look at dropping on that point. We can have a nice little look around on this not so nice looking day. Have a nice little drive around. Plenty of trees. So, you know, what's down here? Let's have a little exploration across the way. You can always drive back. This doesn't look like the main part of the town. In fact, it's not allowing me to go down there, which is a bit weird. So let's just not attempt that. We have a nice little park over here though, so I think that's probably where we're going to spend a lot of our time, just hanging around in this park. Maybe go to the Regional Art Museum. Let's have a little look at the Regional Art Museum. Look at that. Beautiful building. Beautiful building. Now, I'm not quite sure about this camera work from the person who took this. I don't think that was very good, but let's have a little look from here, shall we? This should have a good view. Should have a nice view. So oh, beautiful architecture behind us. And then at this side we have a lovely lake. With not quite sure we've got like a garden centre just sort of floating in the middle of the lake. There's a workshop. A workshop that looks overgrown, to say the least. Very overgrown workshop. So there's a restaurant. That restaurant looks quite nice. I think that is probably where we're going to be spending most of our lunches. Can we actually have a look in the restaurant? It looks like there's quite a few points in the middle, but I'm not sure if that's going to put us in the restaurant. Okay, this is still outside, but as you can see, very scenic area. So that is lovely to see. And can you please Google? I would appreciate it if you'd go backwards. Google. Google, play nice. We appear to be having a little bit of a loading issue, which with our internet is a bit intriguing. So we've gone back to this view. No, I would not like you to show me hidden gems, please. I would like you to just behave. That's all I would like of you, Google. Just behave, do what I'm asking, and let us enjoy the restaurant. We want to see the restaurant. I don't know why I've got an accent suddenly, but we want to see the restaurant. And this does not look like a restaurant. But it looks very interesting, so we are going to explore it. So this was the entrance way. Are we going to walk outside? Yes, we've just walked outside. Great. Didn't want to do that. So have a nice little look around, a please, if you may. Unfortunately, we can't have a little look over those edges. We can head up the staircase though. So do we turn left or right, ladies and gents? You unfortunately can't tell me, so I'm going to go right. I hopefully made the right decision. That is quite a way down. Quite a way down indeed. But we are going to just go around the outside, around the outside. Have a nice little... Okay, we are now downstairs, ladies and gents. That was a quick tour of the upstairs. And I think a quick tour of this building. I think we've had enough of that. We shall have a little look around, see what else there is. It looks like there's a library just over there, which is across the way from us. We have a regional school nearby. Plenty of parking by the looks of it, yes. So I'm guessing this is the main parking for our stadium. And then have a beautiful river that runs at one side and this massive lake at the other. A lot of sports pitches around us. A lot of spot pictures so yeah that's an interesting i guess one of these is probably our training pitch and we've got youth pitches and there's maybe smaller teams nearby but there's definitely plenty of football pitches that is for sure we then have tennis hanover 78 a lot of tennis courts there and yeah it's a nice little area we have a takeaway a restaurant just in walking distance, it is a very lovely location. What is over this way? We've not had a little gander over this end. So let's have a little gander. We're going to have a nice little drive over the bridge. River looks quite nice. 
We can have a little stroll along the riverside when things aren't going quite right and we just need to clear our heads. But it doesn't look like it wants to play ball and let us go any further. So I think that... Oh, and the hospital is just across the road. So if our players get injured, wheel them across the bridge and they are already at the hospital. In fact, we have a couple of medical places here. I think that's the main hospital and that's just a little medical centre. But our players should be pretty good if they get any injuries. We can just wheel them across the river, like I said, and they can get dealt with. But without further ado, I'm going to head on over to Bremen, where we should play our game for today. It's Derby Day, ladies and gents. Welcome to Bremen. Welcome to almost the Wessa Stadium, which you can see behind me. 42,500 seater, roughly. We have a derby to take on. So without further ado, I'm going to head on over and let's get on with today's game. Right, so we've made it into the stadium, ladies and gents. As you can see, they are going for the classic 4-4-2 up against our 4-2-3-1. And, well, we have playing for us today. Raphael in goal, Wiener at left-back, Anton and Twanzebi in central defence. Fisher on the right-hand side of defence. I'm going to change a couple of these names before we get further into it. So we have Barrero, who is now just going to be the barman. We're going to have him as the barman. So we have... No, we don't want capitals. We've got barman in the middle alongside Nati. In front of them is Veloso. On the left-hand side is Hansen. We then have Mayner on the right and Walker up front. Again, a few tricky names on the bench, so we are going to correct some of these. Um, we have Timo, who is going to just become Timo, because his other name is... Quite a long one. We have Mattiello. Mattiello can remain as Mattiello. We have Mortensen. Wirtz. Gordino. We then have the Batman. He's the Batman. We know how many times I've already butchered this guy's name. And we've only been here for all of two episodes. So, Batman. So, uh, Batman. We then have Jovic and Tarzan. As well as... Yeah, we're get, I'm going to mess this one up as well. It's a simple one. Kutuku. But. Kutuku. Um, it's just going to be cuts. Simple. Cuts. Nice and easy to remember cuts. Tarzan and cuts. So, without further ado, let's head on into the dressing room. Let's go talk to the Mac Daddy of them all. Mr. Marco Mac. So, tell the team they're expected to pick up where they left off. I am going to tell the team. Uh, I know we're not really huge underdogs. Come on. This is a derby game. We are never underdogs in a derby game. I want you to pick up where you left off. No. We can climb up the relegation. I expect it nothing but a win. That has gone down nicely with Fisher. It's gone down nicely with Nati, the barman, and Walker. That is lovely to see. A few players are actually... Taking that on board, and let's get on with this. In fact, do we stay positive or do we push it up to attacking? We'll stay positive for now. I kind of want to go attacking, just put the pressure on them a little bit more, but I think that's going to pressure us too much. As you can see from the possession, they are favoured in the possession a little bit. We are not drastically behind, but they have been having the ball a little bit more than we have, so... We don't want to be pushing up too much. Mariba, though, whips one across to the right-hand side. Oh, no, that was a... Te oh, lovely save by Raphael after the mistake of Vina. Vina completely missed his man, but Raphael saves Vina's bacon. And as you can see from this replay, didn't cross the line. Don't know why I've got that one left on. It never does cross the line, but yeah, I've left that one on. So we are just going to get on with things. I'm going to demand more, though. Although we are drawing, we want to get a win. We don't want to settle for a draw. Yes, they are the better side, technically. We are definitely going for the victory, though. As you can see, it's very tight down here. 13, but they have a game in hand. They're on the same amount of games as us. Also on... Well, they're on 16. We're on 17 right now with our current draw. 16, 16, 17. Basically, everyone from 13 down, very much in a scrap. 12. Maybe as high as 8th even have the possibility of dropping into this mess. But I can't see anyone from about 7th up really dropping enough points to 
get into this awful situation. But there is definitely plenty of tombs down here who are in this awful messy situation where three of us go down. And well we've just gone and given the ball away. That was terrible. Our wingers are not doing us any favours today. Twan Zabi plays over to Fisher. Now with Nati. Nati going to get a good ball. Tries one over the top. It's Walker. Can he get past his man? Plays it across to Veloso. Lovely shot by Veloso. Unfortunately, it grazes the post. And it goes out for a goal kick. So, let's demand more. More, lads. Please, sir. Can I have some more? More. I'm sorry, that's stuck in my head now. But we are drifting into half time and it is nil-nil. They've had four shots, we've had six, four on target to our two. They've got a hundred percent shots on target ratio, that's nice. Keeping up the pattern though, they've also got four fouls. We've also kept up the pattern, we've got two fouls to match our two shots on target. Zero yellow cards apiece, 58% possession to our 42. Now, their best performer has been their goalkeeper. He's got 6.8. For us, it's Fisher with a 6.9 and a 92% passing completion ratio. Now, struggling to form is Alts was there for them with 6.4 and 2 offsides. For us, it's Mayno with a 6.4 and 0% crossing completion ratio. As you can see, it's been a rather boring day for Bundesliga football. Köln is currently drawing 0 0 at home to Borussia Dortmund. Hamburg is currently 0 0 at home to Frankfurt. And we're the Bremen are currently 0 0 at home to us. So tell the boys they did well and their efforts were excellent. Now, out more. Um, I mean, really just them two. Yeah, dig deep, lads. Dig deep. We are going to dig our way to China. I know that's physically not right, but we're going to dig our way to China. In fact, no, I'm not going to try and figure out where the opposite end of the F would be for Germany. That's not something I want to be trying to think of in the middle of a recording. So, Walker <laughs> shoots, goes wide of the post. I am very curious now, but again, I'm not going to dedicate some of my brain power to that right now. We are focusing on the match. We need to save this club from relegation. And Nati is looking to do that by playing it over to the barman. Barman, no to Vina. Vina is being fouled. That's a penalty, ref. Come on. Penalty. Yes. Run over to his little telly. What does the little man on the little telly say? Let's find out. And the winner is... Hanover 96! We have a penalty, ladies and gentlemen. Can we slot this one away? I cannot remember who our kick taker is. That's the worrying thing. Our kick taker is... Hansen. Hansen, can you slot this one away? Please, Hansen, I beg you. Slot it away. Come on, Hansen! Handsome Hansen, as everyone likes to call him. Or Emil. Hansen for them who don't have a crush on him. Third goal of the season for Handsome Hansen. Slotted away in the bottom right side and what a beautiful goal it was. We are off to a cracking start ladies and gents. It is also substitute time so this is looking good. Vina is on a yellow card. Now do I risk Vina or do I take Vina off? That is the question. We have Nati who is lacking a bit of condition maybe taking Vati off. You know what, 6.6, .6, yellow card, Vina. I love and appreciate you. We have this guy who can play over that side. Now, he doesn't particularly like being over that side. Fisher, are you natural? No. Fisher, why are you not as versatile as I would like? I would like to have a little bit more flexibility from you, Fisher. I'd like it if you could get your leg behind your head, but you cannot. You are a bit stiff to uh, lack of better plays um 6.4 from me uh walker hmm. no 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 bassman yeah we're bringing on bassman bassman is going to come on for mayna he's going to stay supporting you'll be okay supporting won't you bassman no 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 bassman no we want to see on the supporting role so Square crates, stamina, yeah, he's okay. Everything's at a reasonable level. As long as it's not going to drop below like an 8 or a 9, I don't worry too much. 
So he can slide on in. We could bring Tarzan on. Tarzan could get some game time instead of Walker, but I think we just leave it. We just leave it. Don't want to touch it too much. Things are going well. Uh, praise the lads. Praise BB Jesus. That's gone down well. We have praised them. They have given us a lovely performance. We are drifting to a nice 1 mil lead if they can. Thank you. We've got it away. Bassman on the counter attack. Can he play a lovely ball through? Or he'll go alone. That was lovely. Until the finish. Bassman, Bassman, Bassman. I also just realised I called Barman Bassman, I believe, earlier in the episode, but yes. Maybe not a good idea to start finding my own failures and pointing them out, but that is me. Fisher plays it across to the Bassman, who kicks it straight at the goalkeeper. Bassman has been disappointing since I brought him on. Probably wasn't the best substitute to make. He's not been performing as I would have liked, but... It's allowed us to get Maynard off. Maynard can have a little rest. Barman with the tackle unfortunately goes back to them and they are still on the attack. It's now back in with Bidstrop. Gets it to Moriba. Moriba plays it back to Becker. Becker with a lovely ball up to Richard and it's now with Lopez. Oh no. They passed it through us. Luckily for us. Raphael. Lovely Ninja Turtle in goal. Making the diving saves. And we are still in the lead folks. Headed away. Come on, clear it. Get a tackle in Bassman. Come on, Bassman. Two tackles back to back. Walker plays it to Beloso. Get it through to Hansen. Hansen, you have support. Hansen's trip. Send him off. Come on. Or not. You know. At least give him a yellow. Ah. Uh, Hansen has also picked up a knock. That's also nice to see, isn't it? Hansen gets tripped up and now he's got a knock. Fisher plays it over to Narty though. Narty to the Bassman. Bassman coming down this right hand side. He has support if he needs. He looks like he's going alone though. Bassman cuts inside, plays it to the Barman. Now with Narty. Now back to the Barman. What will the Barman do? He will slide it over to Narty who plays it across to Mattiello. Mattiello beautifully slotted in the bottom right corner. Right back playing at left back. Gets his first goal of the season. Assisted by Naughty. It is Federico Mattiello. And let's have another look at that one again. Lovely ball over. Lovely slotted ball into the opposite corner. And we are 2 0 up, folks. It looks like we have a victory here in Bremen and our second game of our time here in Germany. It's 2 0 in the end. We had a penalty and a goal in the 90 plus 4. Left it a little late to seal the game, but I will take it. 10 shots to our 13. 6 on target to our 5. 6 fouls to our 11. 2 yellow cards. 2 yellow cards. 59% possession to 41. Now the best performers were wow for them with a 6.9. And Mattiello of course with that one goal and an 8.1. He seriously came on as a substitute. And stole the player of the match. I like it. I like that performance. Struggling to perform though was Paya for them with a 6.5 and no reason for it. And Mayna with a 6.4 and 0% crossing completion ratio for us. Milestones Becker made his career debut. Hansen made his 100th career appearance. And the best man made his 250th career appearance. So let's go talk to the Mech Daddy. Tell the boys they did well. Their efforts were excellent. They were. You know what? I kind of want to say passionately, but I'm not. I'm going to be assertive. Now, passionately. I'm proud. Passionate and proud. Let's do it. With a proud passion. And that, ladies and gents, has got us up to 13th place. Now, as you can see, three teams below us do have a game in hand, but we have a three-point gap on two of them. Six-point gap on one. So we're definitely not dropping below one of them. And the other two I don't see getting above us. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Depends who they play. But Leipzig... The other teams on 17 games, it looks like they're probably playing one of them. So unless they're playing each other, in which case one of them is going to lose, or they're both going to draw and not jump over us anyway, I don't see us slipping into the relegation zone. In fact, like I said, there's only two of them that can get above us, so worst case, we are going to drop down to 15. So that has been a very productive episode. We are out of the relegation zone, but it doesn't get easy in the next one. 
Hamburg is going to be a big game. 13 versus 14, 19 points versus 17. We've both crept out of the relegation zone, but we could both fall back in it. And to make it a little more interesting, we then head away to Cole in the second game of the next episode, who are currently lying in second place in the league. So, I thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye.